electronic music really is very traditional, it's just where it breaks away is the sound itself. People in electronic music doing the same things in traditional music, you know, they've got repeating ideas, they're using popular rhythms, and I guess I'm more interested in a newer set of sounds, even if that's at the cost of them not being as rich or dynamic as like a violin or a cello. I don't like music to be over laboured, so if you're improvising and something comes together, it's never over laboured because it's just come out of a very spontaneous thing, and that's really important to me. The interesting thing is, live is the opposite of the finished product because I completely deconstruct the tracks and then when I rearrange them live, they're never exactly the same. When I first started using Analog Sense, I just wanted the change from using a very digital system. I like the idea that it's not got any like second functions. I don't like things that are trying to be too many things. So here's a synth, that's what it does, and that's what I do live. I'll have Profit 8 synth, and that's going into a pedal with 8 filters. And you know, it's just a little change. I think it's all about constraint, really, for me. My music has got a slightly dark mood about it, which I'm really happy with because I think it's really hard to get mood out of electronic sounds. It comes down to sort of very careful judgement when you're exploring sounds, because it's very easy with synths to create something that's very plastic and, you know, just like a bright colour. What I'm trying to do at the minute is I'm trying to really strip down how many ingredients go into a piece of music, so I'm looking for strong sort of identities. When something is birthed to a new style, that's when something's happened so well, it's got so much potential in it that it has to give birth to thousands of artists. So, you know, it's like a network artist, it's just constant borrowing and referencing, it's just everything all at once. Mm -hmm.